mpaka haya mambo yakakua kutoka kilefi tuzamia hili ambapo zaidi ya mashirika alfu nane ya siyo ya serikali huenda usajiri wake ukafutiliwa mbali na bodi ya mashirika ya siyo ya serikali baada ya kukosa kuonyesha matumizi yake ya fedha kama inavyo utakikana mkurugenzi mkuu wa bodi hiyo mutuma mkatana uh, mkanata amesema bodi hiyo ilitoa makataa ya siku 21 kwa mashirika hayo lakini kufikia sasa gizo hilo halijatimizwa Uh, with uh, they have not filed their annual returns they are not in compliant with our regulations we have already given them notice 21 days notice uh, so far on average the number of end users that uh, submit returns are 3000 more than uh, 8000 have not submitted their returns or about 8000 uh, most likely if they don't, don't don't do that we are going to deregister them we are going to strike them out of the you know our, our our register we are going to close their offices and all their bank accounts so what you are encouraging and telling the NGOs those who have not complied to ensure that they comply with our regulations they submit their annual returns they update their offices they tell us what they are doing they submit reports in terms of the programs they are doing uh, there are quite a number of uh, a few organizations that may want to use the sector you know on areas that are not good like uh, terrorism financing you know uh, money laundering you know it's real so it's something that we are uh, we want to ensure that it does not happen here in Kenya Na idara ya upelelezi wa jinai DCI ina